In Genesis chapter 15, there are two verses that I want to read that are probably the most well-known and powerful verses in the chapter. The first one is verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Don't be afraid, Abram. I'm your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Powerful verse. And then number 6. And he, speaking of Abraham, or Abram, believed in the Lord, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. So the chapter begins with the word of the Lord coming to Abram in a vision. This arrives with assurance to him about God's continued commitment. Don't be afraid. I'm your shield. I'm your reward. Abram takes the opportunity of this visitation from the Lord to ask some questions. He, he, he wants to know some things from the Lord about the promises that God had given him. First, he addresses the promise that God will make him a great nation. Abraham respectfully points out that his current heir is a servant, not a son. He has no children. And at this point, Abram is well over 75 years old. So God's response is to show Abraham the stars. Using this as an analogy, God repeats his promise that Abraham's descendants will be so numerous as he can't even count them. Abraham believes God. And this statement in verse 6 is one of the key verses in all of the Bible. Abram's belief in God is credited to him as righteousness. In the New Testament, both Paul and James quote this verse in Romans and Galatians and James, making a cornerstone this verse that he believed and was counted righteous. A teaching of God's acceptance that comes by grace through faith. And even though Abraham has faith, he asks one more question of the Lord in response to God's promises. The one about the land. How am I to know? God doesn't reject his request and for his insurance. Instead, he instructs Abraham to gather some animals, to cut some in half, to arrange them in a specific way. And this begins a covenant ritual between God and Abraham. And before God completes the ritual, he causes a deep sleep to fall on Abraham and reveals a prophecy about the future of his descendants. They will live as captives for 400 years. We know that's in Egypt, serving that nation. And when the time comes, they will be released with abundant possessions and return to execute God's judgment on the Amorites and all the inhabitants of the land of Canaan. Abraham learns that he will live to a good old age but that he will not live to see the troubling events of this prophecy. God gives Abraham a vision. God gives him assurance. And God lets him know he's righteous, not because of what he does, but because he believes. And it's the same for us. God gives us assurance of prophecy, of, of his promises by the resurrection, by the coming of Jesus Christ. And he doesn't make us good by us being good, but because of trusting in what he has done by grace through faith, we're saved.